Hi, my name is Deborah Bird, and I am a local mortgage strategist here in Plano, Texas. And I just wanted to go over how to get started, what's the first step when it comes to buying a home. Now, I will say, depending on your situation, maybe you're a first time home buyer, maybe it's your first time to sell a home and now buy a home, we understand that everyone kind of has their own story. And so, the first place that we get started and that we always recommend is to get pre-qualified with a lender. However, it's not just any lender. And you'll see that the best real estate agents, the top producers, anytime that you maybe call them and you wanna go see a home, their number one burning question is, are you pre-approved? Not just pre-qualified, but pre-approved. And they're gonna then ask, is it a local lender? Is it a lender who's licensed with the state? Because there are federal guidelines but then we also have state guidelines and it's really, really important that you have a full service mortgage team uh, that is local and we do have appraisers that know this area that's stronger than anyone who may just be nationwide or those internet based lenders. So first and foremost, it's going to hand select and hire that perfect lender. And so that's where I come into play. And I would like to interview to basically be your lender. And I'll tell you that um, our unique approach is we understand that one, the home, it's not only a financial purchase for you, but again, depending on your situation in life, it's also a very emotional purchase. And we understand the emotional aspect tied to the finance. And again, those are some of the things that we kind of draw out to figure out, you know, what is your life situation? What are those, you know, short-term, long-term goals with this purchase? How long do you plan on being in the home? So you'll see, once you go to my website to apply, um, which if you just go directly to this site, you'll click apply now. I have an initial web form there that those questions bleed all types of different strategic approaches I can use to make sure that we put you in the best loan program for your strategy. Not just what's easiest for me to do, but what's something that is going to align with your overall goals with this purchase. So you will see when you go online, you're gonna answer just a few brief questions. Then you'll click, I'm not a robot, and it'll directly uh, take you to our loan application, which let me just tell you, when you fill out the loan application, it's a rough draft, you guys. <laughs> um, it will ask you to you know, use your best email address and you can create a password and you'll go in. It's kind of like our working document um, that sometimes I have people leave open for a year or two. Because uh, when we start this process, we sometimes identify um, different obstacles that maybe we didn't realize. And so that is where my full service team really wraps our arms around you to help ignite your perfect plan. Um, and I think that's from when I personally bought and sold back when I was a teacher prior to getting into uh, the real estate business is the first two homes I bought, um, I really didn't have that loan officer um, ask me those in-depth questions. And, you know, sometimes you only know what you know and, and you don't know what you don't know. So when you meet with my team, we take um, a very thorough look that we want to know exactly where you're starting and then where you want to be. And I felt like through my personal experience, everyone knew what I wanted, but they didn't really show me where I was. So then that path of the most not only efficient but effective way to get there um, wasn't really identified. And so that is my, um, I guess, crusade when working with clients is I don't want any of my clients to ever feel like you don't understand what you're getting into. You don't know all the possible solutions, the pros, the cons, and what are some of those things that you should be looking out for in the future. And so that's where I can say is, is I discovered I was way more powerful when I gave up some of my tasks and I leveraged my team so we could be the, the Hall of Famers and not just a one man show that has to wear all these hats that you can never get a hold of that then becomes very frustrating because we can't go as deep with every client. So I will say I like to go a mile wide with helping people, but then a mile deep. So number one most important step is to hire a perfect lender for your situation who's going to look at not only credit, because that's what all lenders do, is um, we're going to look at your middle credit score and credit history. And just know we come across several different um, types of credit situations. Um, I'm also a certified divorce lending a specialist, not that I ever um, promote divorce. However, sometimes I've seen just again through life situations um, that 
sometimes credit takes a hit. And so I do actually have loan programs that start at 500 credit scores, or I even have loan programs that you could be just one day out of a bankruptcy or foreclosure, and I have a solution for you. Um, that is because I am not a retail bank lender. So I'm not a, a Chase mortgage banker or Wells Fargo, nothing against um, those companies. My, my older sister actually is a VP at one of those, um, except they can only sell their product. So I chose that in order for me to serve and help as many families as possible, I too needed to be strategic with where I planted my flag and to make sure that we had not only the traditional qualified mortgage programs, but then we also had access to non-traditional um, where we portfolio them you know, ourselves and we can use just common sense lending again. So um, it is absolutely important that you have a strategic approach, which will come from our consultation that's after you apply. Um, so again, we do need this to occur first so we can at least see kind of what we're working with. We will do an in-depth look of credit and I have a member on my team that even if you have a, um, let's say a 738 credit score, which is a great score, we will always do an in-depth dissection of what we can do to just get the points up a little bit because there's different tiers when it comes to pricing. So if we could get you, and I'll, I'll just break it down like teacher lingo that were grades A, B, C, or D. If you were an 88 and I could get you to a 90, well, an A is an A, right? So a 90 is just as good as a 100. So if there's a little bit we can do up front that doesn't take too long, that would get you a better interest rate, which would help over the life of the loan. That would be huge, right? Um, so we do look at that for credit. We do look at uh, income situation. So everyone's paid a little bit differently, whether you're W-2, 1099, multiple businesses. Um, maybe you have a W-2 job, but a side business as well. Um, believe it or not, we even have a self-employed loan program where we don't even look at tax returns okay so a lot of times we have business owners who have a lot of write-offs and they don't necessarily qualify for anything on paper but this is where common sense lending comes into place and we can go off of just 24 months bank statements we do a total deposit um, cash flow and that calculates your income so Again, we are a full service mortgage team where we have, um, just like you would think of football or baseball, we have different positions where everyone's held accountable and we all thrive off of um, being the best we can be in those one or two jobs that we own and we all enjoy doing that position. Okay, we kind of own our lane. On top of having a team, I also partnered with a company where I had the you know, qualified mortgages and then maybe the non-traditional mortgages as well. So the very first place to get started, although I'll bet maybe some of you have already started looking online, you, you may have some apps that you're looking at um, just to kind of see what's out there, which I don't blame you. Um, but even if you're a year out, two years from, from now, maybe you're looking to buy, you're just kind of a looky-loo right now, please, please, please take the time and just take the first step and have clarity of that roadmap where instead of just jumping in your car and driving to some destination without knowing those two endpoints, you really won't get there as efficiently as if you partnered with a team who will give you not only um, the best solutions for you strategically, but again, our job isn't just helping you make decisions, it's helping you make the best decisions. And a lot of times that comes from empowering you and equipping you with the right information so that you're not denied and you're not told no simply because maybe that loan officer has too many tasks on their plate and they don't have a team that can help them so they can't dive as deep to really structure a strategic approach that um, you know again I, I just recently helped a client who thought the lowest interest rate was their best option for an investment property and I showed him that the lowest interest rate although it appears this is where sometimes um, truth or perceptions of truth can be an illusion if you don't have a financial planning approach that strategically shows you over a 15 year game strategy for um, this financial investment, which was an investment home, where actually the lowest interest rate was gonna cost him the most amount of interest over time. And that's because we were looking at different ARM uh, loan programs because it was a non-warrantable condo. But um, anyways, I say that because please, 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 even before reaching out to a real estate agent as they won't know, what um, area to have you start searching in until they are told from a lender, one, what you qualify for on paper, but sometimes you qualify for much more than what you want to spend per month. So we kind of want to 
work that application like a Rubik's Cube to make sure that not only do we know exactly what purchase price range you should be looking at due to what you qualify for, but also for a monthly payment budget standpoint. So once we have all of that put together, then we usually hire a real estate agent um, to or get with your real estate agent to put you on a more accurate search that can be mined down and be more effective and efficient for your time. So I hope you find this useful. Uh, please find me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Just type in the Deborah Bird. I'd love to connect with you. Um, if this taught you anything at all, I would love for you to tag me in a post. That way, um, if any of your friends that you know could also benefit from some of this education, they'll know exactly uh, who to contact to get more information. So um, my business only grows off of referrals. I do not have any leads that come in through a traditional bank. And um, my goal is to serve as many families as possible. So um, I look forward to uh, talking to you on the phone and seeing your application come through. You have a great day.